I never believed in ghosts until I moved into this house. I was just a normal guy with a beautiful full life and two kids. Life was good until I moved into this house. Started out small. <laughs> Noises and whatnot. Then I, then I started choking my wife. But I was possessed. I didn't even know it was myself. For the sake of my wife and kids, I had to get out of there. This house is evil. We're here in downtown Holly Springs, North Carolina, side of a cemetery. We're here investigating uh, some paranormal activity that's been going on here in North Carolina. It seems that a uh, guy uh, down the road has called us up, uh, wants to do some investigative work. So we're out here getting a feel for what's going on around us and uh, starting to feel really intense out here, uh, like, like something's disturbed. So uh, we're going to check it out. Looks like we've done all the investigative research we can. Let's get over there. It's been a long drive, but uh, it's like we're gonna be pulling into the house here soon. I'm kinda worried, it's, it's got one of those feelings in your gut, you know? It's one of those you can't explain. Uh, it gave us a lot of complaints that uh, grew from you know, minor sounds you know, originating from other rooms that weren't occupied to, uh, to even go so far as physical contact. And it uh, eventually led to uh, the owner's suicide in uh, 2010. Uh, he hung himself from one of the rafters and, well, that was that. Yeah, I don't know much about the place. Uh, the site is a historic landmark here in uh, Wake County, North Carolina, but um, I got a guy in the area who knows a lot of the history and background too, so uh, I'll call him up. Looks like uh, I got called down here a few uh, few weeks ago. Yeah, it looks like we have a lot of paranormal activity going on around here. I was wondering if you knew anything about the uh, history behind it. Yeah, I don't know much about the history of this house, but I have heard a couple of complaints about the ghosts. Uh, apparently, this was a family of about four, and they had a few um, few mishaps with the father. And uh, yeah, let's go take a look inside. Yeah, let's do it. Feeling a lot of negative energy coming from the house. Uh, whatever spirits are in there probably aren't too happy that there's a church right next door. Yeah, the place was built in about 1848 by Archibald Leslie Bims, and they're trying to renovate it now because of all the uh, stuff falling apart, but they can't get uh, anything done because of the ghosts, and no construction crew will step a foot in here. Really? Yeah. It's, it's took, taken about like three weeks for them to even get this thing up. It seems serious. Looks like a lot of the uh, original materials used to build this house have started to decay. Looks so, like this house could really use a few touching up. At the devil's ball, 
at the devil's ball. Yes, I saw the cute Mrs. Devil, so pretty and fat. Yes. Dressed in a beautiful fireman's hat. Oh. He for Apple eat a man who led the band. <laughs> Something about this place doesn't feel right. Yeah, most people get that feeling when they first come in here. You want to take a look upstairs? Yeah, that's what we're here for. When the house was built, Holly Springs was just a small town. Nobody really lived around here. Just a few houses and miles down the road. What was the uh, industry back then? Well, the main product was definitely tobacco, but a couple cotton mills were here and there, nothing too major. You can see, uh, right, get right up there. You see uh, how the foundation's starting to crack, especially on the ceiling here. Yeah. You really show the uh, wear and tear on this old house. Like I said, this place hasn't been properly renovated in years. Yeah, Archibald Leslie Mims was the town doctor at the time, and I don't know what happened really, but from what I hear is he went insane and just killed his entire family. For no reason? They didn't give me one. All they told me was that he, one night, Christmas Eve, just got really drunk and threw his kids into the water and drowned them, and then stabbed his wife. Look, you, you can still even see a little, little bit of a mark up there. Almost like the Charlie Lawson murders. Very similar, very similar. So, if you listen closely at night, the legend says that you can still hear his kids screaming and his wife yelling out. I heard some whining earlier. Is that them? Possibly. Careful. This is the place he hid all the bodies for about three weeks. Feeling a lot of negative energy. Those hand marks on the wall? Yeah. The blood prints, they stained uh, a little while back. So you can still see some hand prints here and there. Holy fucking shit. Is it there everywhere? They say that this is the place where he chopped up all the bodies and put them in that room right there. What the hell? What? I don't see anything. I thought I saw something. I think you're just hallucinating, man. Let's go. This me the creeps. Oh, God. Oh. Yeah, it, it still it, smells. It reeks. It smells like... Oh. Yeah, they said that he hid the bodies in here for about three weeks until dumping them all in the river. It still smells like this, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he later killed himself because of the guilt said he hung himself from these rafters right here. This place is really fucking creeping me out. Yo, can we get out of here soon? Yeah, let's go out these doors. Wait, wait a minute. Did you see that? What do you keep seeing? I'm telling you, man, there's something in here. Dude, I know this place has ghosts. I'm telling you, there's something over there in this corner. Listen, man, I know you're new to this town and you're scared right now, but these ghosts only really come out at night, which is why everyone tries to stay away from this place. Whoa! What was that? All right, now I definitely believe there's something in here. Let's get out of here. Oh, I'm getting out of here, man. What is that? Yo, come on! I don't think this is a joke anymore.